welcome to the news, which is not a copy of Pew News, just, you know, an original idea that no one's ever done before. Mortified mum sent five-year-old to school nativity with a shepherd costume bought from the internet before realising it came with a blow-up sheep sex doll. <gasps> yes, that is right. That is the story that this poor mother from Scotland... Scotland! No. <laughs> oh, no, it was awful. ...from Scotland sent her child to school with this inflatable sheep. The naughty inflatable sheep doll with backdoor pleasure hole. Perfect for a gag gift. Fulfilled by Amazon, but filled by you. Ooh, good. you can use that if you want. Okay. I would like royalties from your sex sheep though. 5% or just, uh, just send me a sheep. Now this story is pretty self-explanatory, but there's some cracking quotes inside this article. The mum is apparently devising a way to steal it from her son because he's probably in his room right now stuffing Lego in the hole. He's putting Lego in the hole? Bum Lego, you say? Oh, you can't be doing, you can't be putting Lego in your bum. Not in your bum, in the sheep's bum. Bum Lego, that's what I'm trying to get at. I just wanted to say the words bum Lego. Okay, is that all right? Now, sometimes with stories like this, the reporter will often go to the, the aggrieved person's house and, you know, they'll take a couple of photos and they're obviously reenactments. Usually it's just like someone standing in a front garden with a little note from the council being like, what what the council done? They're, what are they going to do about this? I'm fuming. I'm still fuming at the time you've taken this photo. I haven't just walked out of here, gone like that and been like, Okay, haven't done that. That was a perfectly candid photo you've taken of me. Obviously, the reporter has been like, come on, mate, just come on, help. Give me something to work with here. Pose for the bloody photo and look annoyed. Now, this sexy sheep article, because <laughs> no one can deny, it is technically a sexy sheep. I've never seen a sheep looking quite as attractive as this one. So the reporter has decided to get the boy to look longingly at the sheep. But the best photo, the best photo in this entire article, and maybe the internet in general, is this one. The boy looking and pointing deep into the inflatable sheep's hole. Look mum, look how much Lego I got in there. I got a 2 by 4 piece in there. And a small Lego car. And my whole arm. However, there is something I've noticed that is a bit fishy about this article, or should I say sheepy? No, it doesn't make sense, does it? Not at all. I am not just a journalist, I am an investigative... investigative journalist. And I, I did some little scouring of this article and I noticed that if you look at the Amazon screenshot where they've bought the apparent shepherd's costume, it's different to what the boy is wearing in the picture. He's clearly wearing a dressing gown, his mum's put a tea towel on his head with an elastic band, okay? I've seen through your story, it's fake. Your mum's bought her child a, a sheep sex doll on purpose just for a laugh, I assume, and this is fake news. Fake news, the boy asked for, a, <laughs> asked for an inflatable sheep and his mum bought it. That's what's happened. That is exactly what's happened. Fake news. <laughs> TUI refunds holiday for horrifying dead son tribute. Happy birthday, we miss you Alex. Holy Oh my goodness me, this is just, this is next level. I'm not even sure this one's funny. Yeah, it's a little bit funny to be fair. Okay, what has happened here is that the friends of the people staying have asked the hotel nicely if they could you know, arrange something nice for their son who has tragically passed away earlier, okay? They've gone on holiday to mark his 
the anniversary of their poor son's death. However, these hotel workers have decided the most fitting tribute to the deceased son of a grieving family is to build an effigy of that son in the bedroom. Okay, and what they've got, they haven't even done it well. That's the worst bit, to be honest. If it was like, you know, Madame Tussauds, you'd be like, whoa, he's back. Oh my God. I can't put, can I say that? Can I put it in? I don't know. But okay, so what they've, they've, hmm, hmm, it's just not good. I've just looked at it again and it's not good. Now they've given him a cake, okay? Clearly, I don't, want, I don't want to be insensitive, but he's probably not going to eat that cake or have that can of red stripe. But they've also given him sunglasses and gloves. Those two don't go together. And what day, what mental weather condition are you in where you've got sunglasses on and gloves, okay? That's insane. That's crazy. Fake news. That didn't happen. Bringing that back again, okay? <laughs> Everyone's a liar. Genuinely, though, the most I, mental. Whoever thought of this is just... There's not a lot going on up there for whoever thought this was a good idea. They even gave him tears. They gave the effigy tears. I, <laughs> I give this story a solid five Jon Snows out of ten Krishnan Guru Murphys. Hey, I know actual news readers. Not personally, just I watched Channel 4 once. We now go over to myself for the weather. I've got no fucking clue. I don't go outside. Ever. I've never been outside. Sport! We now are at the sports section. Sports news! Sport! <laughs> Over to me at five aside. No, seven aside. <laughs> yep, how are you feeling about the game today, Kieran? Oh, hydrated. <laughs> Finally, we come to the last section of the first ever episode of News. Uh, maybe that's how it's said. News. <laughs> and it's politics. Oh, touchy subject, but I'm news. I'm impartial and I'm getting breaking news right now. Apparently, Theresa May is still an absolute twat. Moron, get her out. She's rubbish. She's terrible. Give it Giggsy till the end. That's a meme. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm current. Right, that is genuinely it for the first episode of News. I hope you enjoyed it. It was weird. If you have any weird news stories, send them to me on Twitter. You know, do that. And also, subscribe to the channel if you want to help me out. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. And apart from that, I don't know. I'll see you next time when I've got a big, dirty sheep. <laughs> oh, that's grim, isn't it? Genuinely, just for the record. Don't fancy sheep. I fancy giraffe. Long neck.